This might look like a normal second order differential equation, but interestingly, we encounter this equation at number of instances. This is the Sturm Liouville equation. Let's have a look at some of those instances, but before beginning, I will not go deep into the explanation of the following equations that will be shown, like how they are derived and other stuffs, as this video will be too long in that case. Assume there is a string tied between two walls, with a particular length, which has a density which keeps varying at different positions on the string. Now for a wave to propagate along the string, a disturbance must be created. Denote the vertical displacement of the disturbance as y. It's evident that the density and the value of y depend on the position of the string, that is x. On addition to that, y also depends on time as the wave propagates forward, it changes position and the displacement changes. So we have the following functions. Next, the wave equation can be written like this. As rho is a function of x, we define it in the following way. Next we define a reference speed c as the following. The wave equation becomes something like this. But we are still not done yet. We want to convert this partial differential equation into an ordinary differential equation. To do that, we do something which we call separation of variables, where we can write y, which is a two variable function, as a product of two single variable functions, like the following. We can apply this idea only if the differential equation is homogeneous. Here we are fortunate to have one. On applying it, we get an equation on x, which looks like this. And this is a sturm liouville equation. To study quantum mechanical systems like electrons in an atom, Schrodinger's equation becomes significant. It's similar to the conservation of energy, where this term represents the total kinetic energy of the system, this term represents the potential energy and the E represents the total energy of the system. Now, what about this? This is called the wave function, which is a mathematical function which gives us the necessary information regarding the system. Like, suppose we are dealing with electrons present in an atom. If we plot the square of the wave function against the position on the atom, we get the probability function regarding the presence of electrons in that position. Interestingly, this equation is a sturm liouville equation. We take a metal rod and start hitting it from a point. We are now concerned about the heat flow in it. But we have some more information like the specific heat capacity, density and thermal conductivity all change depending on the position on the rod. In other words, they are all functions of x. Next, we define the heat source as the following equation. The general form of the heat flow in one dimension is the following homogeneous differential equation. As this differential equation is homogeneous, we can write u as the following, which finally gives us this differential equation in x. And again, this is a sturm liouville equation. Like this, there are a lot more instances where we see this equation and this is what makes it so beautiful.